Why does my black hair go back? It's because we have a special cells that can supply hair and color. I've actually always wondered the same thing, and in Dr. Mami Ito's lab was set to find out how the special cells for hair and color work together to regrow colored hair. Hair regeneration is a result of the collaboration between these two distinct stem cell populations in the hair follicle, epithelial stem cells and the melanocyte stem cells located in the bulge and the secondary hair germ of the hair follicle. Hair cycles through phases. Hair grows during anagen and then regresses to rest at telogen. In the following cycle, the follicle enters anagen again and regrows pigmented hair. Epithelial stem cells regenerate the actual follicles. Melanocyte stem cells, on the other hand, are undifferentiated, and unpigmented melanocytes that regenerate the mature melanocytes seen in the bulb area during anagen and produce the pigment that is incorporated into the hair. There is obviously coordination of proliferation and differentiation between epithelial stem cells and melanocyte stem cells at the onset of hair follicle regeneration but their underlying mechanisms were unknown. Here, we use Wnt beta-catenin pathway as a tool to study their interaction, since Wnt is known to be an important pathway in hair follicle regrowth during anagen. We found that both stem cells in the secondary hair germ activate Wnt signaling at anagen onset, detected by nuclear presence of beta-catenin, the key mediator of the pathway. Since we found that melanocyte stem cells and epithelial stem cells coordinate their behavior at the initiation of hair follicle regeneration, we specifically asked, how does Wnt extrinsically regulate the behavior of melanocyte stem cells, and how does Wnt affect their behavior intrinsically as well? We found two ways by which epithelial stem cells affect melanocyte stem cells. Although melanocyte stem cells do not produce Wnt ligands, Neighboring epithelial stem cells can secrete winds that can activate both stem cells, leading to their coactivation. Consequent wind activation in epithelial stem cells also affect melanocyte stem cell behavior. When we use an epithelial specific promoter to stabilize beta catenin and found wind activation in epithelial cells promote melanocyte proliferation through upregulation of endothelium. We found activated epithelial stem cells secret endothelins that can be received by melanocyte stem cells that express endothelin receptor B. What happens when wind signaling is activated in melanocyte stem cells? We used a melanocyte-specific promoter to either stabilize or delay beta catenin in melanocyte stem cells. We found without wind beta catenin signaling, mice produce gray hair as melanocyte stem cells could not proliferate enough. They could not produce mature melanocytes and could not produce pigment, showing that wind beta catenin signaling is essential for melanocyte stem cell differentiation. So what do these findings mean in the bigger picture? Well, similar to what we found for hair follicle regeneration, heterotypic stem cell interaction can also initiate the coordinated behavior of distinct lineages during the formation of other complex organs. And we're hoping that wind can be a novel target for manipulating melanocyte stem cells both intrinsically and extrinsically to, for the therapy of pigmentation disorders. We hope you enjoy reading our paper in this issue of Cell.